as if I had to do a table or something, draw a table, let's, let's probably say two columns, and how many rows, let's say four rows, alignment, probably center, advanced properties, insert. So let's say um, number of matches. Cheese. Um, then the next, the next one is a um, number of goals. Number of goals. Okay, but at this instance, I needed to add another column. But no, like beside this number of goals. So probably. Um, probably I want to add name of name of player. Yeah, so I can um, probably I will just click on insert column before. So doing this, it added another column, which I can do player name. Player name, and I can start doing. Um, let's see. Uh, Ronaldo. Suarez, the number of matches, let's say 10, and 10, 8, number of goals, 34, <laughs> that's three. <laughs> 50, and then let's say 30. So when I done, I can do save, let's see how it's going to look like. Um, yeah. So we are. So I guess you you sort of having your insights on what and what you need to do. Yeah. That's difficult. Yeah. Sorry, Okay. 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 So um, <coughs> we can decide to make the top part everything all bold, increasing the font size to probably eighteen, and then all these fonts to let's say. Um, 14, yeah, that makes it nice, and then we can decide to make this centered of the table. So, and then if we do save, let's preview. So, this is looking more nice, and all of that. So, what is left is your creativity actually, because um, there are so many things to be done. Just try them out see what what you can achieve with this so um, let me let, let me do something crazy here I'm going to insert um, a roll a row below like this and I want I want this place to just show statistics Starts. I hope I got it right. Yeah, I want the statistics to span over these two columns, so I can probably just do make table cells. Yeah, so and I can set this to become centered, and um, yeah. yeah. Pardon? Okay, the player yeah, name. Yeah. Now this one I can also do match. So. While I, if I do save, let's see the final output. Now you get what I did. Hmm? I was able to use my mail to work. So if you have conversation with uh, Microsoft Word or any of word processing, you will be able to. Table is not an issue. So that's it. So I guess we're done with tables, we're done with um, content. content. So. You I'm not really done with content because we are, I were expecting a kind of, um, let me say, frames that this application will have whereby you can design, even if you are not a graphic designer, you can design some things and still make, yeah, custom. That one I was just about to answer, this table should that can we do custom to you know, like, so, you know, I'm not a graphic designer, but I want to develop a website, and I want it to be wow, like, okay, this is cool.
Okay, and that's what that's why I said. Your own experience so far, you have to develop your graphic material independently and imports. No, well, um, like I told you, what will limit your you is your creativity and your imagination. Like there are so many things I can achieve here. So many. Depends on how what you think about. It depends. So um I don't know. It depends on you. Total to that. Yeah, about color field. Color field, well it's also there. It's also there. For example, I want this is Messi better than Ronaldo? Probably this or I can do more colours. Or you put your colour code, which you might get somewhere or palette. You already have them here. Or named whatever. So so we can select it and do apply. So that has given me the color. About website interface and the website homepage. Homepage and all of that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll get to that part. That has to do with templates itself. So that means we, have, we need to with get our hands a little dirty on templates or you buy a template and then you install. So we'll still get to templating and all of that. So, um, <coughs> So I think basically, then we can also add our bullet and numbering, like bullet. Then we can also add the numbering, or whichever we, um, yeah. So then, if you want to create a link, probably when someone clicks on this link on this image, I want it to link them to probably another website or something exactly. yeah or i want this ronaldo to link to a wikipedia page that shows ronaldo so this is called hyperlink insert or edit link so if i click on it i just type the, the, the link i want to go to probably let's say um, http google.com then I'll target if it should open in the same window slash frame. But when you are linking to an external website, it makes more sense for you to open in a new window, in a blank new window. That is, you should leave your page still open and open it in a new tab. Or open in a parent window slash frame, still parent. Or open whichever one you, you think works for you. But I'll choose blank. Then you can also look at pop ups. I want you to leave your own distinct plan. Uh, well, it makes more sense so that when the person finishes, you can continue from where the person is. Really. Uh, okay, uh, I never knew what I was going to say. Yeah. I think you're saying that the page should be turned to the new one that in the mind, as in the current one, will now be, uh, will be forgotten, kind of like, you know. What you just click now is like you open in a window in a new window. Mm, in a and new when you right click and open in a new window. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So here you can do stuff like pop ups and all of that. Like if you want to just show a spawn. So you might need to get test all these things out. Events can you can all these things function even without you hosting it like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything functions. Everything functions. So here on focus that is when on focus on blur on mouse down on mouse up what you want it to do that kind of thing like when somebody clicks what do you want it to do then you can do a whole lot of other things with it. so we'll just do insert so let me save this now did you you, you need to notice how my mouse looks like right now it's looking like a normal pointer mm -hmm. so i'm going to refresh the page what happened? My and mouse console changed to an and saying there's a link on it. And if you look down at at my bottom side here, you see Google.com, the link where it's, where it's going to. So I think uh, we don't. So what if <coughs> you click on now? Uh, if I click on it, you see it opened it in another tab. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So but does that mean you identify that this should be. This should take to another link. I mean, yes. So how do you specify the image? How did you? How were you able to specify the image? I only clicked on this image, and I selected the oh, insert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and a did link. Yeah. So, and you can also it's not just image alone. You can do it for anything whatsoever. We can do it for Messi, and then click on it and say Messi.com. Um, www.mewsmessi.com and then open in this window slash frame or we say open whichever one but blank new window is better then I do insert How about you? Sorry. Yeah, I'm listening. There are other options that I want to add a question about. Hey, you can always try those options out. Okay. Yeah. So and if you don't yeah I'm going to mess it now. Six, six, yeah, it takes you to message.com. And if you don't want a link on it anymore, you can always select that word and then <coughs> click on this on link. So, and that remains the link.